too warm? No, I'm fine. Okay. A little seriousness going on. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to talk about banking. What am I going to tell you about banking today? Well, today as, as how to avoid service fees that could be charged by banks. I don't know if you all know it or not, but if you have an account that's kind of stagnant, especially your checking accounts, they will charge you money for that. So you need to keep it moving. And the way you can keep it moving is you either use some of the money that's in there or... Surprise! You probably already do this. <laughs> you can have have um, automatic deposits. You can and what is called is sign up for a, up for a direct deposit. That would be like your paycheck or anything that you have that comes every month. You could put it in there, and this shows activity. Or can, automatic payments. Or, yeah, of some sort. Like if you're retired, you might have your IRA going in. Monthly, I don't have that yet. I'm not old enough. Soon I'll be old enough, but I'm not old enough yet. Um, keep a minimum balance. And keep multiple accounts at a bank. Sometimes, if you have multiple accounts, they will waiver any charges that could go onto the checking account. But not all banks do that, so you might want to check with your bank to make sure. Use only the bank's ATM machines because otherwise you'll get charged if you use a stranger's that isn't through your bank they will charge you and then your bank sometimes charges too because you used the machine that wasn't theirs don't spend more money than what you have well that is a everybody should be, not be doing that I'm still keeping track last year I kept track every month and the month be the year before I kept track so I'm just starting a new month I haven't spent any money yet but it is only the second of the month did you do in December? I did pretty good in December. I can't remember, but it was good. It was, I think it was a little less than the year before. I think it was quite a bit less. I think so. I can't remember. Go paperless, which means you won't get a statement from your bank. Now, I was getting charged $3 from my key bank account. That was my health savings account. And I called her up one day and I asked her, what is this charge? I haven't done anything in my health savings account. Well, it was the maintenance fee just for them to have that checking account. So I said, well, how can I avoid it? And she said, well, you can go paperless. So now what I do is I, if I want a statement, I can print it out myself. And so I did that with my other bank, too. I don't get a, a statement. I have Jim print it out because I don't print out on that one. And, and then the credit union one, I looked on there. I get a statement from them. But theirs are free. So if you have a credit union, you might get a free statement. And deposit checks into your savings. If somebody gives you a check, deposit it into your savings. Because if that check were to bounce in any way, you don't get charged. But if you if you put it in your checking, they consider it money that you have access for, access to. And if it bounces, you'll get charged by the bank that it bounced from and you'll get charged from your bank because it bounced so I always just deposit it into a savings and then you can always transfer transfer money out of your savings if you really need to utilize free checking accounts there's some places mm -hmm. will have the free checking accounts now we have a free checking account at our main bank but we have to buy the checks but at my credit union they have free checks and free checking I don't have to pay anything for the checks. In fact, once a year, I tell them I'm ready for checks, and they just send them to me free. I think that was everything. Sign up for direct deposits. Keep a minimum balance. Keep multiple accounts at your bank if they honor that. I would also put a cap on my, on my checking to make sure that it can never be overdrafted. Use only the ATM of your bank, and you can turn the heater off. I'm a little bit warm. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. He turned the heater on for me. And don't spend more money than you have. Learn to budget. Do not spend more. You want this new year to be a year that you get ahead, not behind. So you don't want to get yourself in any pickle. 
So don't spend more than you, know, you have. With everything that's going on, it could be very easy to I know. get and into into debt. That's for sure. Now, like Emily, usually I would give her a check and then she would cash it. Well, now she's got control of her own money. I'm finally, finally going to give up my my control of that. Yeah, I know. Some of your parents are thinking, I gave up control of my kids' money when they turned 18. No, I kind of want them to have a good nest egg, so I kind of keep track of them. And I told her for Christmas that she could have her own all of her money and now she asked me if she uses her debit card how does she get cash because she would rather use cash than the debit card because you can overspend so easily so she's going to I told her just take your checking account and write yourself a check that says cash and they will give you cash and just tell them that I would I would go in the bank and tell them that you don't want anything bigger than 20s because you don't because they could give you they could give you a hundred dollars, hundred dollar bill if you're, because she usually gets a hundred and sixty dollars. So they could give her a hundred dollar bill and then the sixty, which she doesn't want. Boy, it's warm in here. Whew. Mm -hmm. And you turned the heater <laughs> off. I turned it off. I'm getting like overheated really big time. <clears throat> and it's cold outside. Well, she could also just go in with her debit card and talk to the clerk and she wouldn't She wouldn't even have to, have write, to write a check. A check. Right, she could pull from their machine if she knows how. I've never pulled from the machine. Like, I only went through the drive through with Jessica. I've never really used the drive through thing either. Well, that's my talk today about avoiding charges on your checking. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. I'm going to go cool off. Bye. <laughs> First time Jim has had to shovel this year. Yep. i got to get my eggs. Thank goodness you're shoveling so that I can go get them after you're done. Yep. There's snow even on top of the boxes. Happy New Year! Second day, a little bit of snow. Just a little bit, not enough to say so. Just a little. Oh boy, everything's frozen. My goodness, it was froze. I had to use two hands. I had to use two hands. It was froze getting this outside one. I got four eggs in this part. That's a lot compared to normal in this part. Usually there's only one. Let me check what's in the other. Ugh, it's cold out here today. Not my favorite kind of weather. And you're all right. I couldn't hear it really, but when you turned it off, I could. Okay, what do I have in here? Oh, I've got four more eggs. Good job, girls. Must be they're feeling good. Thank you for holding that up. I gotta get the hook and hook it back in. Oh, it's cold. There's my eggs for today. That's getting better.